Hi again, welcome to the garage, I'm Pierre. It's been a long time and uh, I've been like uh, kind of busy. I had to go to uh, California for a vacation and the bash and the all this stuff. Uh, met a lot of people. You'll get some updates on that as soon as I can just pick up my uh, my pace again and uh, do some, you know, some editing. Uh, first things first, I got a little bit of payback to do. Uh, I got, uh, just the day before I left, I got some tools that I... Um, I kind of been offered to test. There's a gentleman on uh, Banggood. It's uh, a little bit dependent of uh, Amazon. It's a Asia Bay's uh, Asian Bay's uh, trade uh, trade site you know, on the web, and um, he asked me if I would test some machine machining uh, related tools. I said uh, okay. What are the conditions? So he gives me the tools that I I picked up the tools. So. Um, I took something that I would use and uh, I would, uh, you know, enjoy and see, see, see how it goes. So I picked up this tool here, which I'll show you uh, close-ups, that uh, allows me to use the rarely used angles on the CNMGs. And I also picked up a box of 10 CNMG inserts. The, uh, they look like four, 431. And we'll be testing them. Uh, I'll be testing the uh, tool itself, and I'll be testing the um, inserts in two different tools with two different, you know, two different uh, extra configurations, tools that I already own and uh, re use regularly. So we'll be seeing the quality of the tool, quality of the inserts, and uh, I think I uh, can just anticipate some some good uh, response about those price and quality-wise. I mean, I think we'll uh, we'll be able to show that the these are decent tools. So let's go and uh, let's uh, let's do some testing, and uh, I'll be back at the end uh, with my impressions on it and uh, how good these tools seems to be. I ordered the tool plus the uh, box of inserts. Comes with a nice, you know, nicely packed. The tool comes in the box. The two uh, the two Allen Allen wrenches. Uh, hold on to them because everything that comes from uh, China or uh, let's say Asian countries is metric. Okay, prices for uh, for those the inserts uh, $18.79 for the old box of 10 inserts, uh, $14.23 as of today on the uh, on US dollars. Holder uh, $16.31 Canadian, $12.35 US dollars. This is like I say as I say as of today and uh, that's including shipping. It gets right to your door the way the way you see it there. Uh, when you install inserts and in tools like that, you never wrench uh, as hard as, as you can on this. It's not worth it, and it's going to just, uh, you know, cause problems. So, nice snug, and that's it. Let's go in the late, and uh, let's try this. Okay, to start with, let's make a facing cut. I'll be taking about uh, 15. Let's say that's it. Twelve thousandths will be about uh, 0 0.3, 0 0.3 millimeters. Let's take a cut, and I'm using the uh, automatic advance for for this. Seems to be doing a pretty good job. It's going to be well centered too. There we go. This is it for facing cut. Goes very nicely. Okay, <coughs> let's go now for. Uh, you know, we'll do some fifty thousand cuts. Let's uh, register here. Let's see how far we can go. Okay, this is fifty thousand. We'll go by fifty thousand every time. So uh, let's have some oil. I could have had some coolant, but uh, I'm not really willing to use this late with coolant. Change direction. Okay, we're 50 thousandths. No problem at all. Seems to be given a nice finish. Let's go for hundred thousands now. It 
this is I'm adding 50 thousandths there and we'll be going hundred thousandths on the new uh, on the new material here we go hundred thousand going very good just let's examine the finish there uh, this is core roll steel it's not the steel that will give you the best finish but I think it yields a very nice yeah it's nice it's pretty good for coal roll I'm happy with this so 150 thousandths plus minus a thousand it doesn't really matter oil it up getting there in the new zone it's going to be 150 thousandths seems good now let's go for 200 thousandths okay hundred thousands that's pretty good so we're going 650 rpms let's go for 250 thousands I think we must be getting let's say a little closer from the limit but uh, let's see what it does I'm pretty far from the truck so it might make a difference we're getting chatter and that's not very good nope let's say 225 maybe that would uh, let's go for 225 thousands no that's about uh, you know 200 thousands about the uh, maximum cut you could get from uh, this configuration remember there that the angle makes it much more the, uh, than uh, 100,000, makes it about double. So if you get 200,000 there, you're almost like uh, 375 to 400,000 on, uh, on the edge of the slant there, which makes a pretty, uh, pretty decent cut. So tool works good. Uh, not the best for heavy removal because some, uh, you know, if you get the, the tool that's uh, using the other angle will make it you know will bring you to a uh, you know pretty high removal let's let's try this just for fun we'll be using the same insert at uh, the other angle <coughs> okay now this is the same same insert but I'm going to be using it with another tool that the, the holder is not the same brand it's another brand and I'm going to be using it to see if we can let's say complete the cut same speed same advance Let's see what it does. Let's, uh, let's register there. So let's see if uh, this can overcome the uh, the end there. Let's be ready to stop though. This is 225 thousandths. Which is not too bad. Uh, no, let's uh, uh, re register. We're zeroing there. Let's say we're 250 thousandths there. Let's try it for 300 thousandths. Oops, a little bit too much. Okay, we're 300 thousandths now. Not bad at all. I would say those inserts are doing a decent job. Maybe you'd like to see the last chip we got from it. It makes a long chip though. It did, didn't cut the chip. Uh, I would have to go with the advance a little bit and play with the advance. But this is a this is a hot chip. Nice colors though.
Okay, as a last test, we're going to be using a uh, more standard, standard uh, you know, for higher removal configuration insert. Same insert, same edge. Uh, remember that this is about 300 thousandths there in the bottom of it. And uh, advance is 4.5 thousandths per, uh, per rev. So let's see how, uh, how this does. So this is removing uh, 200 thousandths and let's see how we can uh, increase this to a little bit like another 50 thousandths, like it's going to be 350. We're turning a little bit faster this time, we're turning at 750, uh, 750 uh, RPMs. This is 50 thousandths on the first part and we'll be going up to... Uh, 250, 250 thousandths on the end there. Ships are breaking about uh, uh, maybe a few inches long. Let's see how we go. Soon. I'm getting the hot chips on my hands though. So we're removing 250 thousandths. Makes a nice chip. Let's go for another uh, another 50. So we're 400 now. This is on the diameter. Yeah, this 50 thousandths is easy. This can do it. This is dangerous chip. Oh. I would have to play on the advance a little bit more to get the uh, chip to break, but uh, I would say a little, little bit more advance. Let's see how it does. Let's go for, uh, I would say something like instead of uh, four thousandths, I would go for about, uh, s that's a s seven thousandths. Okay, now the advance will be like seven, uh, I'll get back to, uh, let's say, uh, 250, just to, uh, so that's 250, better chip, let's go back to uh, 400. Better chip, yeah. That's it. This is 400 thousandths, uh, 750 RPMs. This makes a decent chip. I think we'll be going about there because uh, I would say 450. This is going to be 450. It's removing it. No problems at all. Five hundred. Let's be ready to stop. It's going to be five hundred thousands. It's getting close from uh, bogging down now. There you go. This is a fairly decent chip, though. Hey, now it's time to conclude to see uh, what I've been thinking about. Uh, you know, after all these tests and uh, how it went. I used. I used it. Uh, I mean, I got the. Uh, inserts and I got the tool uh, this is uh, the actual insert that I use for all the uh, all the work I did uh, first I use the uh, supplied tool which is the um, the number here but I'll give I'll give in the uh, description box the um, you know the, the uh, it, you know where you can uh, see more details about it and uh, where they are uh, displayed on Banggood site um, this is a tool meant to use the um, side of a CNMG that's rarely used so uh, this direction good for facing good for removing material in between uh, let's say uh, higher uh, higher areas also um, do some uh, areas on the uh, CNMGs that is rarely used so I got some uh, let's say some of my personal 
previous CNMGs where these these ends are like totally shot, but those two ends are still good, so they'll be uh, usable on this on this tool. As uh, I wanted to check also how the inserts would behave. These inserts, uh, as you've seen in the video, we um, we got some pretty heavy cuts, pretty nice. Uh, you know, we kind of bogged down the late with it. And I'll show you some very, uh, very extreme close-ups of this, how the edge uh, behaved on this. So uh, it was using this tool first, this tool second to use the, uh, the acute angle there, and also on this uh, tool there to uh, see how about, you know, more regular uh, removing of material. So the inserts, in my opinion, they perform very nicely. It's uh, you know under dollar uh, fifty U.S. and uh, an insert mean uh, you can't uh, you can't a you can't ask any better than this. If you pay like fifteen twenty bucks for an insert, maybe you can be a little bit more demanding. But you know you know I don't I don't feel you're getting so much more. So this for general general use mean I'm not talking about specialized use is one of the very good purchase you can do. Let's see. Uh, let's see about uh, very ex extreme close-ups of these uh, these inserts now after it's been worked out. Uh, this is about as close as it will get uh, for a close-up of the uh, tip of this insert. Uh, what do I think about it? Uh, I think it's it behaved pretty nicely, mostly uh, considering that it's been uh, bogged down and uh, using very heavy cuts. Uh, like half inch is considered to be like a uh, pretty uh, pretty stout cuts on uh, let's say these kinds of you know, these kinds of inserts uh, most of for this size you get bigger sizes but uh, this you know this is a four uh, four thirty I think it's a four thirty one um, what I recommend this for general use for the price of it for the uh, durability and the uh, quality of it yes I would recommend it and it's uh, you know. Decent price, decent quality. Now we see the angle, like the uh, the broad angle, the side angle of the uh, CNMG. It's uh, not exactly new, but it still looks uh, very usable. Like it's still like uh, not even knocked, notched or uh, kind of there's not noticeable wear yet on it. So uh, good for a lot more use. Uh, one little detail worth mentioning, I. I got my uh, dog screws on the uh, on this. Uh, I, you know, took it in and out a few times, and there's no significant marking in there except just the surface. So this is hardened, and uh, seems like a good quality. Uh, so far, it seems like a good quality uh, tool. So um, the holder is also recommended. <laughs>